Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 75. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and you can download this workbook. YouTubers Love Excel 72 to 77. Hey, this is an amazing trick. Someone asked about having a drop down, data validation drop down in this cell. And notice it says MRP, distribution rate and loyalty points. These ranges over here are named. That's named distribution. This is named loyalty points. So his question was, how do I create a drop-down MRP so that another drop-down list will pick up the right thing? You see how this list comes from over here? So as soon as I change this from MRP back to distribution rate, then this drop-down changes to this distribution rate right here. Same with loyalty. Now this drop-down is uh, those points right there. Let's see how to do this. That's the done finished one. Let's click over on this sheet right here. And the first thing is we have to do a bunch of naming. We need to name this and this and this. And we have to name this. So watch this. Here's a great trick. Here's our data and our field names are at the top. And this trick will always work. You have your data in columns and your field names at the top. And we want to name this column MRPO2 and this column DR, which is distribution rate. You just use the keyboard shortcut. Control Shift F3. And it's asking you, be careful here because it's going to interpret words as names. We don't want that left column. We just want the names to come from the top row. And then click OK. You can verify that by clicking up here. You can see now that we have our DR. Or you can verify it by clicking there and see that it says MRP2. Now for this first data validation, we're going to need these names right here. So let's highlight this. And we'll name um, this range by clicking in the name box. And we'll call this um, uh, names for D, D, names data. So names DV for names data validation. Now we can come here and simply do um, data validation. Now in 2003, you got to go to the data menu and data validation. In 2007, you go to data ribbon, data validation there, or the keyboard shortcut that works in all versions, Alt DL, Alt DL. I'm going to hit tab, and then I'm going to type type the letter L to get to that L, which is list, which is what we want, and then tab. I already forgot the name, so I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for pasting a name, F3. And I want um, names DV, so I'm going to double click that and click OK. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah, look at that. You notice I have uh, these labels up here are changing, depending on what I want to put here. That's concatenation. I've done some videos on that, but you can certainly download it and look at that formula right there. Now let's do this. Now the trick is going to be, oh yeah, data validation. Let's just try it. Alt-DL, uh, tab, and then L to get to the list, and then tab. Let's just click on this cell right here. It should just pick it up. There's LP. That's a named range. Click OK. Uh, no, that won't work because Excel, when you click on that um, LP, it interprets it as an actual word, text, not a range, a named range. Even though we have it named, it's still when we use data validation. So the trick is uh, Alt DL is to use the indirect function. So I'm going to click here indirect and we've seen this in indirect di and we've seen this in a few other videos the indirect will take text and convert it to a range so this is the perfect solution here click OK now look at that just like that it's got the LP values right here and as soon as we change this to DR distribution rate this uh, drop down right here changes to this distribution rate. So that's how to build a drop down data validation list built based on another drop down data validation list using the indirect function. All right, see you next trick.